Good morning, Chapel. Welcome to... Just kidding. You're in your homes, I know. <laughs> it's hard to not be together, but I know that we are together in spirit, which is awesome. Um, we are just gathered here in our living room, and we're just going to have a little time of worship, and um, we invite you to join us. That's really what this is all about, just inviting you to join with us in worship we're sitting down. We thought we'd do it kind of more acoustic-y. We actually did another take where we were standing, and then we're going to probably just sit. But we invite you if you want. <laughs> when we're doing church on Sunday morning here, we put it up on the TV right here, and we just kind of stand right here in front and worship like we're there. So we invite you just to join hearts with us right now, and let's lift up the name of Jesus this morning um, together even though we're in separate locations. And we're going to start with this song because today's Palm Sunday, as we just said, and this song is called Hosanna, which is what they were shouting when they were waving their palm branches. So let's lift up the name of the Lord and praise him today together.
right now. So Lord, we just call upon your name. We just ask, Lord, that you would just be in our midst among us. That you would be so very real. Lord, we're just celebrating you in our hearts today, even though we can't be together as the body of Christ, Lord. We're together as families, and that's enough right now. Let us just be still and know that you are God. Just thank you for your presence, Lord, that is a very present help in time of need. Lord, when you are present, fear has to has to flee. And so we just um, we just turn to you, Lord. We just open up our hearts to you as we sing this morning.
that song fits so good. Um, we are going to do a song for you now. Um, as I was just thinking about uh, all that's been going on and um, just the really the different place that we're in right now and it's not really our choosing it was just something that happened and none of us brought it on of course God knows all about it and in many ways I think God is obviously using it to uh, really just be a blessing in all of our lives I don't know about you but um, we have found it just to be um, really just a sweet time to be with our families, to be in the Word, to be in prayer, just to spend time on walks and just kind of low key. It's been really, really neat. Um, but also in that, we have kind of been forced to take a look at even our own lives and how we do ministry, like how we live out our faith right now, how we reach out, how we do different things. And one of the things that has blessed me tremendously, I haven't told Pastor Gene this yet, but one of the things that I remember the first time I saw him with the picture of the little curbside service, mm -hmm. and that was just such a blessing. And it made me think like, wow, we, we've got a transition right now into mm -hmm. just being creative and doing different things to be able to reach people. And, you know, however that is, just last night we had a little long picnic where each family could stay in their little huddle, but we separated the huddles like six or seven feet. That's just a kind of reach out to our neighbors some and get to know people mm -hmm. even through this time. But um, Tomorrow night we're having a concert out in our little green space in our neighborhood. In our neighborhood. We put our flyers on the doors and invited everybody just to sit on their front porch and I'm going to put a little sound system. We have a little circle right out here. So we're going to kind of do that. So just thinking through all of that, um, I thought of this song. This is a song that we didn't write, but uh, some great friends of ours and kind of mentors in ministry wrote it years ago. But it's such a powerful song for what we are going through right now. And, um, yeah, so I just want to, I want a charity to sing it. I don't sing it, I just play. Uh, but just as she's singing this, think of the words and um, it really just a reflecting time to be able to um, focus on the Lord and what he might be saying to you, even this morning, with all of the changes and things that are going on in our culture and then also, of course, to prepare our hearts for uh, Pastor Gene's word. He's going to bring a word right after this. So we just pray mm -hmm. for that. But this song is called One Small Voice.
This one small heart can start to understand Every effort I give is precious in your plan This one small life will bring glory to God It's amazing It's amazing How healings wide Beautiful music. Thank you so much, guys. Good morning, Chapel, and other special guests. Thank you so much for joining us for our um, Sunday morning worship. I hope you are well and safe wherever you are. As you can see, I have moved outside. I am actually sitting at the desk that I use for curbside church which is an opportunity for folks to drive through in the safety of their vehicle for prayer, uh, counseling, communion, and beginning next week, groceries. Yes, yeah, so we are taking the ministry to them. Since we are now locked out of our buildings, it's, it's time to, to go where they are. And this, this community, see, has basic needs like groceries. Every community. <laughs> and all of this has basic needs. And church, we are still called, we are still responsible to meet those needs. So curbside church has been such a blessing. So much fun. And uh, I invite you to come join me. Um, any time that you would like. So how are you doing? How are you coping with all of this? If you're like the rest of us, you have good days and bad days. You have days that are, are, are fun and uh, this new season is exciting. And then you have other days that are dark and downright depressing. But what we have to remember as, as people of faith is that God is taking care of us. God will watch out for us. God is leading us. God has called us to this season. He trusts us enough to uh, be used in ways that we had never considered uh, and and so here we are and and know this chapel you are loved oh, I miss you we miss you we pray for you we appreciate you we we will do anything we can for you and um, we are the church we are his church and we are excited about the, the opportunities that he is laying before us. Amen. Good preaching, Pastor Gene. <laughs> Amen. Turn with me, if you would, to Matthew chapter 6. I always say turn. Actually, I should say go with me to Matthew chapter 6. I want to um, speak to you just a few moments this morning on the issue of treasure. Um, while you're going there, why don't, why don't I lead us in a moment of prayer? Heavenly Father, thank you. Bless you. We worship you. We adore you. We say thank you, God, for your blessings. We say thank you, God, for your goodness, for your grace, for your mercy, for your provision. God, I pray in Jesus' name for the person who is anxious so anxious, God. I pray that for the person who's just 
downright depressed. Lord, lift them up. Lay your hand upon their head in Jesus' name. God bless all of us. Speak to us clearly through your word this morning and then help us to uh, respond accordingly. Uh, in Jesus' name that I pray. I thank you for the rooster that I hear in the background. <laughs> I hope that's not driving you crazy. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So through the beauty and power of technology, I have now moved inside for a very short time of uh, reading God's Word and letting God's Word speak to us. I want to talk on the subject of uh, treasure. For most of us, treasure can be defined as wealth, riches, uh, fame, uh, glory, accomplishments. Um, that would be our treasure. Also, uh, a, a spouse, children, uh, grandchildren, uh, parents, uh, friends, treasured friends, uh, a church. Oh, a church, a church is, is, is such a, a treasure. And yes, we see all of this as uh, earthly treasure, and rightfully so. All of this is a blessing from God. But understand this, that God, God's definition of treasure opposes ours. See, he says true treasure in heaven and on earth is found in one person. Jesus Christ is the treasure. In him, we find the fullness of God. In Christ, you see, we have our salvation. In Christ, we have our very spiritual life. In Christ, we have been made complete. He is God's treasure to the world. And so today, for just a few moments, I want us to evaluate evaluate our treasure because if we are enjoying the blessings the treasures on this earth but we're avoiding or we have forgotten the treasure that that truly matters because all of those other blessings are not even possible without the treasure from heaven so turn with me, go with me now to Matthew chapter 6, uh, beginning with verse 19. It says, do not, do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth, rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. Because it's all of these treasures... The treasures I hold dear, the treasures I work a lifetime for, the treasure that has stolen time and energy from me, right? The, the, the temporary, see, is going to be gone overnight. For some, it already is. That's what this time, this season has shown us. Things can change overnight, Things that we hold dear, things that are most important to us can evaporate <laughs> in a moment time. That's why we have to understand that there's treasure beyond that treasure. Treasure that will last. Uh, verse 20, so yeah, store it up. Store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where Thieves cannot break in and steal. And then verse 21, very important. Where your heart is, there your treasure is. Where your treasure is, there your heart will be. Just a couple things. First of all, it's time to reevaluate our treasure. Because, hear me, friend, my eternity is dependent on my treasure. 
I follow what I value. I desire what I hold most dear. My heart, my heart will always chase what I treasure. And so it is, it is the time, it is the day to understand that when Christ is not our treasure, hear me, we are open to anything and everything. Or let me say it this way. When God is not our everything, we are open to anything. It's time to reevaluate our treasure. It's time to understand that what my heart has chased, what my heart has followed in the past needs to change. It's a wake-up call from God to understand that the true treasure that, is, that has come at, out of heaven will not be here uh, forever. This is the day to receive the treasure. And then we drop down to verse 24 and we understand, we see when it comes to treasure, my earthly treasure, and then the treasure that's eternal, the treasure that really matters, we cannot serve both. We cannot serve two masters, my translation says, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and wealth. Or let me paraphrase. I don't think this is taking it out of context. Hear me. You cannot serve God and the treasure that has your heart captivated. Because when Christ is not our treasure, we are open to everything and anything. And so search us, O oh Lord, and know our hearts. Try us, Lord, and know our anxious thoughts. See if there be, see if there be any wicked way in us, O oh Lord, and, and lead us in the everlasting way way. It's, it's, it's time to evaluate or, or uh, re-evaluate your treasure. How do you know your treasure, preacher? What are you, what are you chasing? What's on your mind all the time? What are you, what are you going after? What is it that can't stop you? Well, what about my uh, dreams? What about my plans and and what about my desires? And what about my passions? And, 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 and what about where I want to go and what I want to do? There's only one treasure that can satisfy your soul. There is only one. And he will not share that space with anything or anyone. Jesus Christ is our treasure. Surrender yourself to him today. Make sure that he knows, make sure that he understands that he is your treasure and nothing, nothing, no one will ever change that. I found this, I found this passage last night. I want to read it to you real quick in Psalms chapter 74, verse 25. Who have I in heaven but you, O Lord? And besides you, I desire nothing on this earth. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. For behold, those who are far from you will perish you have destroyed all those who are unfaithful to you. But as for me, the nearness of God is my good. 
I have made the Lord God my refuge, my treasure that I may tell, that I may tell of all your works. Chapel, friends, whoever is watching, Jesus Christ is our treasure. If you have not received him as your Savior and Lord, it's very simple. Just say, help me, Lord. I understand you, God. I see it in a whole new light. I am a sinner and I need a savior. I need, I need the treasure that you have sent. I receive him and I will follow you anywhere you lead in Jesus' name. And now let us all evaluate. Let's allow God to search us, to look closely, to, to, to go in with a... Um, a magnifying glass inside of us. And if there's any treasure that we've put above him, if there's a person that we've allowed to, to take his place, because again, there's only one that can satisfy the soul. There was only one that can bring peace, life, health, yeah, and even joy to that part of you, only one. Receive him today in Jesus' name. And now, Lord, I pray for, again, everyone who's watching. Thank you for our church. Thank you for these other friends. Thank you for our time with you. And now we surrender ourselves to you wholly, completely, in Jesus' name, amen, amen. Say it with me, amen. <laughs> okay, ushers, thank you for coming. <laughs> Where are they, Pastor Gene? Oh, I see you. Ushers, thank you for coming. Hey, if you have a tithe, if you have an offering that you'd like to get to us, um, well, you know how to reach out to us. And um, uh, thank you. Chapel for being such a giving, loving, and caring church. And now, and now the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and, and give you peace. May the Lord lift up his countenance on you always. And may he continue to bless you in ways that will blow your mind. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I pray. Amen.